Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter celebrates his 99th birthday in Georgia. Well wishes are flooding the X feed. Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind surprise their hometown of Plains, Georgia, at a peanut festival. Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind surprised their hometown of Plains, Georgia, by showing up at a peanut festival on Saturday. The couple, who are both in hospice care, waved to the crowd from an SUV as they drove down the main street. The event was part of a week-long celebration of Jimmy Carter's 99th birthday on Sunday, a remarkable achievement for the longest-living U.S. president. Many people did not expect Carter to reach this milestone, as he announced in March that he was entering end-of-life care. However, according to author Jonathan Alter, who wrote a biography of Carter called His Very Best, hospice does not mean imminent death. I think there is a misunderstanding about hospice, that it's only for people who are days away from death, he says. That's not what the hospice movement says. Alter says that Carter and Rosalind, who has dementia, are living the final chapter of their lives in the same way as they live the rest, by serving others. Do as much as you can for as many as you can for as long as you can, he says. He says that by announcing their hospice and dementia, the Carters are sending a message to the world that they are not afraid of these end-of-life decisions, and that there are other options for letting go. While they have retired from public life, their legacy lives on through the Carter Center, the global non-profit organization they founded in 1982. The Carter Center works to promote peace and fight neglected tropical diseases around the world. Paige Alexander, the CEO of the Carter Center, says that thousands of staff and volunteers continue their work without interruption. Alexander says that she still talks to Carter occasionally on the phone, and that he is more interested in the progress of his projects than in politics. The last time we talked, he didn't ask me about politics, he didn't ask me about anything except guinea worm numbers, she told VOA. Guinea worm is a parasitic disease that Carter has been trying to eradicate since the 1980s. When the Carter Center started its campaign, there were 3.5 million cases in 21 countries. Now, there are only six human cases in two countries. Carter once said, I want the last guinea worm to die before I do. Alexander says that Carter appreciates the support and admiration he receives from people around the world, especially the happy birthday wishes that the Carter Center is collecting for an online mosaic. I think it might be the special sauce of what keeps him going right now. That and peanut butter ice cream, she said. She says that Carter and Rosalind are happy to be together in their small community, where they have lived since the 1920s. They are exactly where they want to be, together, in their hometown of Plains, Georgia, she said. Happy 99th birthday, President Carter. You've inspired so many people around the world with your leadership, character, and commitment to service, former U.S. President Barack Obama poured high praises towards President Carter. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification button for more videos.